In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I straighten and dry and demat thick, thick poodle and doodle coats. So I like to start off by double bathing very thoroughly my dogs and then spraying in a good dematting spray and letting it sit for about five minutes. And then after that, the sprays I've used today is Eye Groom Dematting Spray. I also like Nano Mist by Canine Competition and for severe cases, Mat X by Artero. First, start with your HV dryer. A powerful one is absolutely necessary. And whenever I'm asked, my secret weapon to grooming is always a good, good dryer. It's worth every penny. So the key is to go slow. No whipping the nozzle around, no anything. I know that that's kind of the way to do it for just your average groom. But if you really want to separate this thick hair that's so difficult to clipper, so difficult to brush through, so difficult to scissor, you guys know what kind of coats I'm talking about. These that are just like, you can't even get a guard comb in it, like it's awful. Then you're going to need to do this process. So, as I'm hitting a big matted section here that you can see, I'm just literally letting the nozzle do the work. I'm bringing it in a little closer, and I'm letting it do the work for me. So, just let it stretch those mats out away from the skin. You can literally see them in this video moving up the shaft of the hair closer to the tips of the hair. See? There it goes. That is literally what I want. Let the nozzle do the work for you. Let the air do the work for you. This is easier on you. This is easier on the dog. Does this type of blow drying take longer? Yes, but this is a heck of a lot easier on your body and on the dog's body than brushing all of this out. So take your time. Moving on to actually blow drying for straightening, you can see I'm looking for it straightening at the root. Look how slow and smooth the movements are. You really don't want to whip the nozzle around. That is just going to create a bunch of tangles. Just watch how at the root it is becoming straight. So I'm just looking for that color change. It becomes a lighter color once it's dry and it's really straight at the root. I'm looking for that little tiny kink and wave at the root to just melt away. So go nice and slow. I'm also making sure I'm blowing hair from the front of the leg towards the middle of the leg and from the back of the leg towards the middle of the leg. More on that in our full tutorial on Patreon. But you would want to blow the hair the direction you want it to lay. That's what's gonna make your scissoring and your clippering and everything easier. So to get the inside of the leg, a little trick I always do is I just, I honestly do it by lifting up the opposite leg and then I blow dry the inside. And then when I move on to the other side of the dog, I do the same thing. Again, in here, I'm blow drying the hair the direction I want it to lay. So I want the front to lay towards the inner and the back of the dog to lay towards the center. Just see how I'm blow drying that in? That's gonna help. Brushing time, guys. So in this video, I'm gonna be using my go-to brush, the Artero double-sided slicker. It's about 20 bucks. Um, the black side is for dematting, white side is for fluffing. Paw Brothers Small Dematter, and an Andis Poodle Comb. This is literally my everyday tool team. This is literally what I use literally every single day. I don't see the need for all these big harsh brushes because I do my work with the blow dryer and the products. So I come in and I just start by lifting the hair up and just basic line brushing. I am just brushing. Let that flexibility do the work. I come in with a dematter if I know there's a couple mats. Again, you don't want to be harsh with a dematter because you can really rip out a ton of coat. I just want to come in, get a little bit of separation. That's it. And then I go back with my brush, brush, and then I'm going to come in with my comb and check my work. 
this is really effective this is an amazing brush especially for the price and it's gentle i literally do humongous d mats with this brush and i've tried a ton of brushes i've bought a ton of brushes i love to try things out for you guys but again i'm the cost effective groomer i want something that works that's fast that makes me money that saves coat it just an all-around winner in this brush is that for me so i'm just gonna work my way around you can see this is going really quickly for how matted this was you guys saw on the blow dry how matted this was and this is already coming out and i can tell you the feeling of it is extremely smooth because of the products we used like i can just tell you you can't tell in the video but i but the feel it just glides through like it really is simple and especially on this thick thick coat these coats can be really difficult to get in there but just make sure you're separating and doing your line brushing properly heat dry time you cannot do a proper groom on these dogs without heat drying it just makes it so much easier to clipper and so much easier to scissor again i'm talking about thick thick coats so i'm starting with a flat slicker brush with very short bristles no flexibility to it and the andis poodle comb and just a wall heat dryer and i'm just stretching that out stretching it out you can use your uh, stand dryer if you've got one too just stretch it again slow down it's funny when you want to go faster that we actually need to go slower i'm just stretching it again at the root getting that all straightened out now i find this so much faster than um wetting the dog letting it drip dry and then doing this from scratch i find hv drying then dematting then doing this look how quick i fluffed that that was literally like maybe 30 seconds not even a minute to get this entire hawk in front done and it's super easy i don't have to do this constant like really harsh stretching with the heat right on the skin um which a lot of us competing groomers have learned to do this you get the same result and it's just quicker especially if you're dealing with coats but again in the pet salon we need quick but this coat is going to be like butter to get through now if you add this step so if you're struggling with coats like this and you can't get your clippers through you're getting track lines everywhere this is the step you need to do is just add that heat in but after you've already dematted and brushed out the dog so even before this my comb would still get caught in this coat constantly and it wasn't matted it just it just needed this step that's it guys if you want to see the full version uh you can join us on patreon i'm making all sorts of videos like this for you guys the content posted weekly and i'm dana alexander with prestige dog grooming school thanks guys